So we're going to check the oil, and it must have a dipstick somewhere. Here's the filler to put the oil in, right? But there's no no dipstick. Set that there. We don't want to forget that. Right. So I got to lay down on the ground, and why don't, why don't you put the camera right here? Okay. Cox. Right up the tranny? Right there. And that's the full right there. So it must be a little bit low. No, it's not. Right no. there. And this is the low one. Okay. So anyway, and this is the drain on it. Okay. So anyway, that's these there's low and high for the oil fill. So um, So that's your level. Right. If it drips out of the top one, then you're full. You're full. And if and, it doesn't drip out of the top and drips out of the bottom, you're kind of in between. Right. So anyway, this one's fine. It's it's full. Um, and, and that's the engine sump? Yes. Okay. It is. Uh-huh. All right. The same oil is in the transmission as it is in the... It's all just one oil. I see. So we'll put this back on. There is no air filter. Um, this is the carburetor right okay. here. It's an updraft car, or actually a cross draft carburetor. And this is going into the manifold. This is the air intake is right here, and it draws the air off of the exhaust manifold uh, into the. So it warms it up. Yeah. Right off the exhaust manifold. Yep. Right onto the input to the carburetor through the carburetor, and the fuel is here at this. This is your fuel shut off. Right. right. And then our fuel filter uh, is right below and it's gravity fed. Yes. Okay. And the fuel tank is right here. Okay. There's the, the fuel filter. All right. So the fuel tank's up above. And if you look at it, it's higher than the valve. And then the valve through the filter down into the carburetor here at the very bottom. Originally, this had a, a fuel shut off here and a sediment bulb right here right. to get the rust out of it. Okay. This particular one has a, an alternate generator on a 6 volt alternator. Originally, it had a, a 6 volt generator. Okay. And this one has a uh, distributor off of a Volkswagen Beetle huh. in okay. there and instead of the Model T coils. So, anyway, those, it has that ignition and, of course, the ignition coil. Right. Is that a uh, stock, or is that also a Volkswagen ignition? That's yeah, that's a six volt coil. That's, okay. that's not that's not original. Okay, and you've got copper, or you have cotton covered wires. Yes, those looks are like pretty old. Yeah, those look pretty original, and they go through this metal bar probably to keep them from burning up, and uh, then into the distributor, and uh, to spark the engine. Okay. This one has the old head on it, which okay. was after, after the first okay. restored at that point. So even though it says Ford on it, it's an aftermarket head. That's cool. All the parts are, even though they're not made by Ford, they're licensed by Ford, amazingly enough. Gotcha. Uh, okay, so let's look on the other side. All right. This car has a water pump on it, which okay. was aftermarket. It was not made by the Ford Motor Company. It was sold by another company. Originally, uh, the engines just boiled the water and it percolated um, through the engine uh, like that. It just thermal siphoned through. And then uh, we've got uh, the, you know, the water from the top of the radiator comes in here and it goes down. It actually is the other way or around. Or it actually goes yeah. up. Yeah. Okay, through the radiator, through gravity, down through the bottom, up through the aftermarket uh, water pump. And the water pump pumps it right into the block, it looks like. Probably, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay, so the water pump pops right into the block. So without that water pump, would the uh, radiator just continue right into the block? Yes, yes. Okay, and then this is driven, belt driven, through the fan belt. So they get a larger fan belt then? Yes. And then uh, around it goes, and of course the fan to suck air through the radiator, and then in. 
Now, what's this linkage here? Okay, that's the linkage for the uh, spark advance. Okay. This is the, these, these are the rods for the throttle and the spark advance. Okay, so it comes right off the column, and you've got throttle and spark advance. And then the linkage is down below here. Okay. And you can see this linkage here, which is which is part of that, comes up through a, a looks like a additional linkage right into the bottom of the carburetor or the end of the distributor over there and that's spark advance okay and then of course an Uga horn made by Claxton how cool is that it's even the right right one okay um, this car has uh, a moto meter on it uh, which has the temperature sensor uh, in it and um, we can turn, oh, we'll just turn around here so you can see the other okay. side like that. That's a little better. So it's actually like a regular, uh, temperature bulb. It looks like alcohol that the driver can see, correct? So yes. he knows the temperature of the car. Right. And so anyway, when you open it, it's not a pressurized radiator. We're going to look in there and make sure that there's coolant. Looks like it has a dipstick inside. Or some kind of a little pipe coming up. No, well, that's the overflow. Oh, that's the overflow. So if it gets up so can high. See it there? Yeah, let me see. Oh, yeah. So we can see that the. I get it on there. So it has an overflow, which is like in your sink. If the level gets up high, it comes right on out. And it's not pressurized, right? Right. It's okay. Not pressurized. And that just goes just like that. So this is the original 240 air conditioning. You pull the mirror back or the outside window back on the side and it is now even with our direction of travel. But if I pull it further, wind coming in this side direct and comes into the car. So you have two of them, you go 40 miles an hour, you have 240 air conditioning. And normally they go this way and they deflect air off the window away from the side window here. Okay. Show me the foot position. Okay, I got my foot on the brake. Yes. Okay, so this is the, the high low. The, okay. The, the brake holds it in the neutral position. Okay. Right here. If I step down on it, it's in low. When I take my foot off of it, it's in high. Okay. So, but I hold it neutral like that. Okay. Um, this is the reversing uh, pedal, and so if I step down on it, it backs the car up. Okay. This is the brake. Okay. This is the accelerator. All right. Okay. And this car has uh, the accelerator throttle is here. Okay. And the spark advance is here. All right. I'm gonna leave it right there. So, anyway, 
obviously the key. Yes. It has an ammeter to show whether it's charging or not. Yes. This is a map light. Amazingly enough, it has those jewels the in it. The little blue jewel and the yeah, other jewels. Yeah, and that is, that's original. Map light. Wow. From, uh, from Ford. Okay. And this is the choke that has the uh, mixture adjustment here. Yes. And the choke when you pull it in and out. Okay. Yeah, no, good. you're good. That's good. Mm -hmm. You're good. Okay, I guess if you're 94 years old, you'd drip too. Ah, there you go, there's our safeties on the wheels, just in case. See how big that trunk is. For our English viewers, let's see the boot. Holy mackerel. Look, does it hold up or do you gotta hold it up? All right, there we go. Look at that. Now that's a boot. Oh yeah, we forgot our blocks. Yeah, I got a skeleton key for the trunk. Awesome, off we go. And to get in, of course, it's pretty simple. You grab the handle, rotate it clockwise, and then you get in. Let's see. 6-6, six, six. let's see if I can get in this thing. Of course, everywhere you go in the Model T, everybody wants to see it, which is cool. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to buy yourself a Tesla, 
right at the bottom of the screen you'll see what's called a referral link this referral link will take you to a page at the Tesla website where you can place your order for a car that gets you a thousand free miles of supercharging it's quite the deal thanks for watching I'll look for you again and take care